back in August, we went to this amazing um, Airbnb out in County Galway in Ireland, and it was called, well, what we fondly call Pete's Castle. Uh, I think it's Care Castle. I'm not sure about the pronunciation, but it's this amazing place where you can stay in two floors, of the two top floors and the battlements of this fantastic place. And uh, it's just so full of character and something that we'd never, ever see again in a, in a place like Australia. It's just so, so, so different. And I love to carry my sketchbook everywhere. So we had two nights there and I did really just didn't care that there was rain coming down. And um, I had this chance to sit there and just capture everything around me. And this place was just so full of just really interesting things about Pete's family and his life and about how they'd worked on this castle. And this is uh, in, in the lounge room area and you can see out through the, the stone walls there and all those sort of, even just the bits and pieces that were just sitting around the room were interesting. So like the sword here and the kids' drawings here and over here the, the um, pictures that Peter had shown us of what it looked like before and after and during this huge process that he spent decades on fixing this place up on his own. And then after the, the lounge room, which has also got a kitchen and things, you go upstairs at night and it's this enormous, one whole floor is your bedroom. And the bed has these, uh, is made out of these um, tree trunks. And it, it's just incredible. It's mantelpiece and you have a fire and there's the shields and there's all this sort of classic um, medieval stuff, but also just sort of interesting knickknacks and things, which in some sort of situations I'd find a bit tacky, but in here they're just so good um, and so interesting. And you can hear, see here I done a very careful um, self-portrait there, but it was just amazing, this experience. We zipped into Galway for the day. But you know, that wasn't my, my main thing. It was all about the castle for me. And this was, we had rain every single day during our trip to um, Scotland and Ireland. And uh, you can see here where I was caught in the rain and all my water uh, watercolour ran. But um, there was actually scaffolding up around here, but Peter had said he'd really like to see a view of the place without the scaffolding. So there you go, artistic licence. You can see um, I've made some prints of these later and I, at the time I didn't have time to finish up the pirate's uh, flag but of course it's a very important part of um, Pete's castle so I've done that properly in the prints anyway. This is the view from the battlement so I raced up early one morning just to have a look out between bits of rain and stuff because it was just this view going off for miles in every direction it was just incredible and to be able to walk along the um, you know be the only person on the castle battlements oh, incredible and there's the pirate flag um, you can't see it here but just sort of um, flapping in the wind it was pretty amazing oh and then I had to of course do this uh, the this stove and um, Oh, look, to an Australian, I think it was just gorgeous and I just love the shadows and the shapes and things and, you know, here's the, that's what are they call bellows, I'm not sure, and even a cauldron in the corner. It was fantastic. And, you know, two nights went way, way too quickly, but as we were saying goodbye and once again trying to dodge the rains, I was just trying to draw the doorway of this amazing place. And, I mean, just look at the rusted bits and pieces and the bolts and stuff. It's um, just an experience, it's uh, just incredible.